you've been using Lean, Continuous Improvement, maybe even Six Sigma, and you didn't even know it. I'm Amanda Zimmerman. I'm a Continuous Improvement mentor, and I help make Lean Six Sigma possible, practical, and easy, no matter what industry you're in, no matter where you're at in the world. So let's talk a little bit more about Lean or Continuous Improvement. Lean is simply a tool set that's been developed that helps you eliminate waste in your processes. Six Sigma uses some of the same tools, but it's really about perfecting your processes. Continuous improvement uh, is overarching. It includes Lean and Six Sigma. Process improvement is the same. And so when I say this, maybe you've gotten into lean or you're interested in lean, but you go, oh, these words, what about demand? What about kata? What about Kanban? What about hijunka? How do I know a pokey oak? Am I using it? Am I not using it? What have I done wrong all these years? Now I'm a black and white person in terms <laughs> of like right and wrong. I have to really work on those gray areas. So I get really caught up in, am I using this right? Or am I using it wrong? And that can be really hard when we're in continuous improvement because there is a perception of right and wrong just as you're learning these tools. So there's all of these terms and everything to learn, but what I wanna caution you on is that you're actually already using a lot of this without even knowing it. So in Lean, one of the tools that we talk about is Tim Woods or Downtime, where you're able to identify eight types of waste in your processes and guess what? You've been identifying these wastes your whole life. Have you ever received an item, a product, made a purchase, and something was broken? You had a defect. Did you ever make a dinner and it didn't turn out? That was a defect. How did you fix it? Look at that, you've already done a project. What about waiting? I'm sure you love to wait. No, none of us love to wait. Have you chosen a shorter line at the grocery store to eliminate some of your waiting, to reduce some of your waiting? You've used Lean Six Sigma. You've used some of these wastes, right? You've identified a waste and you found a way to improve the process so that you had less waiting or you didn't have a defect next time. It's the same as you go through the tool set, as you learn these different tools, you're going to realize more often than not, you've been using these concepts. You didn't necessarily know that it was called 5S when you cleaned up your garage and you organized it and you created labels and a system for sustaining it. Maybe you didn't know that that was 5S, but guess what? You've been using these tools all of your life. These are just logical things to do. Now these tool sets give us names so that we have a common vocabulary to share amongst continuous improvement professionals. But this common vocabulary should empower us, it shouldn't restrict us. So make sure as you go out today, as you learn these new Lean Six Sigma tools, continuous improvement tools, feel empowered by learning more and not constrained. You're using these tools already, even if you don't know it.